Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on how to achieve this look for the 4th of July. So if y'all are unsure on what look you wanna create for the 4th of July, I really hope this video helps you. If you do love the 4th of July, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you wanna know how I achieved this look, please keep on watching. All right, so I've already moisturized my face and my under eye and I've primed my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow base, my go-to, y'all already know. So I haven't put my tape on yet because I want to show how I'm going to do it. I'm going to kind of move the tape down a little more than I normally do just so we can have that bold look. Okay, so I'm just going to, gonna take it out just slightly more than I normally do. Usually I have it about like here, not too much of a difference. Really, I pretty much just wasted a piece of tape. Like that thing is way too long. It's like, I don't even, whatever. I am nervous. I'm excited to kind of go out of my comfort zone though. Just gonna put some translucent powder over the primer. The palettes I'll be using today is the, okay, get your English right, Raylene. Okay, the palettes I'm gonna be using today are the Pirates of the Caribbean palette by Lorac, and then I'll be using the Tardis Pro palette. First, I'm gonna go with Métis, just for a nice base, and then next I'll just go in with Bones, kind of like a light, light brown color. Okay, and then bones, half the excess, you already know. Like this brush, like obviously I've said it since I've done the video, this came in the Beauty and the Beast palette. Um, incredible. Like this is like my go-to brush for transition now. And I'll link the Beauty and the Beast um, video down below if y'all haven't seen it yet. For my last shade of transition, I'm just gonna go in with Silent Mary. I'm gonna focus more on the outer part and the crease. I'm trying not to put too much on the lid. Those of you with hooded eyes, it's okay. I feel your pain. I do. But we're gonna make this work. Even though we have hooded eyes, we can make any beautiful look look great. Don't get discouraged. Okay, so that's that for the transition. So we're gonna put red right here. So I'm gonna transition it with like a maroonish color and then let it transition into the red. I'm gonna take Tell No Tales and I'm gonna put that on the outer V. And I'm gonna use the other end of this brush that I was just using for my transition shade. And just light, like don't go too in. Just like that. Next, I'm just gonna go in with my usual blending brush, the crown brush. If you don't have it, anything fluffy works. I'm just gonna very lightly blend. And I'm just gonna kind of blend up. Next, I'll be going in with this brush from Visanti. It's the eyeshadow two brush, flat ended brush. And I'm just gonna spray some Smashbox primer water. Anything works. Spray it like so. I'm gonna go in with the shade Treasure. Nice shimmery red. Crazy how much it picks up when you spray primer on there. Or not primer, excuse me, when you spray a finishing spray. So those of y'all with hooded eyes, look up and apply. You can do it. Next, I'll be going in with Silver Mist and I'll just be putting that in the middle. Spray your brush again. It picks up so much. So I'm gonna put a little more red right here. That was kind of in my mind before going in with the silver, but I was like, yeah, it'll work. No, it won't work. So I'm gonna put a little more red. Again, I'm just wiping my brush off. It's so easy once it's wet. Spray again. Dip in with that red again. That's better. Then next we'll go in with blue right here. So I'm gonna be using Starry Night. It's a beautiful color. So again, spray the brush. Sound like a broken record over her. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it so far. I love it. Okay, and I like how it's perfectly blending in with the silver. So there's that. That's what it looks like so far. So I'll go in with the Tardis Pro palette. I'm gonna use the shade Fierce and I'm gonna super, super lightly go over the top of these colors. I'm gonna be using the crease brush from Unique. Looks like so, it's kinda dirty, it'll work. So I'm gonna dip into Fierce, definitely tap the excess off, and I'm gonna lightly just go over the top of the colors. And then I'll blend it. And again, blend lightly. I'm gonna put more silver. And I just kind of go over the top of the red and blue just a little bit. 
because you don't want any harsh lines. You kind of want it to blend together. So there is that. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Before applying the false lashes, I'm going to put a faint line of liquid eyeliner across. I am going to take the Super Cat Skinny by Soap and Glory. I'm just going to do a light line over the top of my lid. drying out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a different one because this one's like dry. I haven't used this one yet so I'm kind of nervous. It's the Mirabella Magic Marker Eyeliner. I got it in an Ipsy offers and it's pretty fat. It looks like a dang sharpie. Let's see what happens. Okay, so yeah, just a faint line like this. Just enough for your falsies. You can do a wing if you want. I just wanna see what this look looks like without a wing. Um, side note, first impression on this eyeliner, I like it. It glides on pretty good. You'd think like since the brush was fat, it wouldn't. Like you'd think that it would take up too much space, but pretty precise, I like it, recommend it. Again, it's the Mirabella Magic Marker Eyeliner. I'll mention it down below. So for now, this is it for the eye look so far. I'm gonna be doing the bottom lashes after I put the rest of my face on, so I'm gonna do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've put most of my face on. Okay, is it just me or is it like when you put the rest of your face on, does your eyeshadow just look that much better? Like I feel like the eyeshadow just really popped once I filled in my brows and put my face on. So what I'll do next, I kind of want to bring the red in, and then we'll do a little bit of silver, and then we'll do a little more blue. So we're just going to go all the way around, but we're going to match the top with the bottom. I think I'll just be going in with the Veramona brush. It doesn't have a name, but it's really dense like this, very small. So I'll be going in with Treasure, that red shade that we put right here, the glittery shade. I'll be connecting it right here, and then going in a little bit until it hits that space right here. And then I'll do the silver, and then when it hits that space, I'll be putting the blue. And then we'll put some white right here. So Treasure. Okay, and then so there's a little bit left on the brush, so I'm just gonna swirl it in the little sponge, get that off, so we can go in with the silver color with the same brush. So we're gonna do silver mist, and then I'm gonna slightly go over that red as well. I'm gonna spray this freaking brush. Okay, sprayed my brush, going in with Starry Night, the blue color. Don't go all the way towards the inner corner because we're going to be putting some white right there. Dude, I'm loving this. It's going to look so much better with the falsies on too. Ooh, I'm excited. I think I'm going to do Shiver Me. It's kind of like a shimmery white. And I'm just going to pop it on the inner corners. So I've already wiped this brush off and I'm just going to um, spraying it with the Smashbox Primer Water. Oh my god. Um, if I sprayed the correct way, we'll get a move on. There we go. Pack it on like so. Pack it on the inner corner. I'm loving this. And don't worry if it kind of goes down a little bit because you want your eyes to pop. You want it to be vibrant and noticeable. So, I mean, unless you want to do something subtle, go ahead. But I like it like this. I'm going to put some eyeliner on really quick. I'm just going to go with my usual, the No Tug Eyeliner by It Cosmetics. So I'm going to spray my face really quick. I'm just going to be using Smell the Roses by Jane Iredale. I'm going to highlight really quick and then we'll start with the falsies. Next is the falsies. I've already opened it, but I kept the packaging just in case y'all wanted to know how much I spent on these. I got these at Walmart. They're three bucks, $2.97 to be exact, and they look like so. And I'm super excited. The reason why I opened them, I cut them already. So what I did, so if you go like this, if you put them in front of you like so, um, this one's gonna go on this side, this one's gonna go on this side. If you have trouble knowing what eye it's gonna go on. So what I already did is you always wanna cut on the inner, what's gonna go on the inner side. So I cut a little bit off of the blue already, just so it won't be too long and make, and make my eyes droopy. I'm just gonna take this Tarte bronzer. I usually put my glue on there and then I take a brush like this. So I put my glue on here, I dip this brush in the glue and then I put it on the falsies. So I'm just gonna be using the eyelash adhesive. I guess the brand is Eye, I don't know, but it's clear white. I'm just going to put it on there like so. So I'm gonna dip 
the brush in there, get some glue on there. I'm just gonna focus on the corners because that's where you really want it to stick. So put the most on there and then just lightly stroke across the band. Oh my gosh, am I going cross-eyed? Wait about 90 seconds for it to dry. Oh shoot! While I hold this and let it dry, I'm just gonna use the Max Volumizer Mascara by Doucet. It's one, one coat. If it's tacky, you know it's ready. Just lay it on the lashes. Sit there for a little bit and make friends with your eye. Stretch to the outer part and kind of press in like so. Holy freaking moly. I am gonna be looking so extra on the 4th of July. This is so, oh my gosh, I feel like a butterfly. I love how it blends with the color. I'm gonna put the other one on really quick and I'll be right back. Next, I'm going to be going in with the lips. I'm going to be using the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Love. I'm going to go in with the Becca Jaclyn Hill Palette. So I'm going to be going in with Champagne Pop. I'm just going to be sticking it on the middle of my lips. I'm going to be going in with this Real Techniques brush, setting brush. I'm just going to dab it in there. I'm loving this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the remainder of my outfit I'm gonna wear for the 4th of July on and then I'll be right back. Um, so I, <laughs> I can't handle myself. I wanted to wear this, I thought it was super cute. I bought it at Walmart for $4.97. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna take it off right now and I will come back to that decision at a later time. And I got these necklaces at Walmart for $1.97. So Walmart is the place to go if you want to kind of dress up for the 4th of July. But anyways, that completes my look for what I'm gonna do on the 4th of July. I hope it made your decision a little better on what you're gonna do for the 4th of July. Comment down below what y'all have planned for the 4th of July. I'd love to hear all the different things that people are gonna do. I love the 4th. I love the colors. I love being with friends and family and barbecuing and just having a good time and watching the fireworks as well. If you did like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my videos I post during the week. And I hope you all have a fun, safe, and happy fourth. I'll see you in my next video.